Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to Easy Piano Lessons. As always, you can get part twos, threes, and fours to any of the songs uh, on YouTube by emailing me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com, including this song. <clears throat> start with the uh, right hand here. We actually have a C chord so in this whole first box here. So we want an E above middle C on the top and then a middle C below that and then a G below that. So we have a C chord. We're just going to play a pattern on there. We're going to go E, G, C, G, E, C. So bum, 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 bum. All right. <clears throat> the left hand is going to have a C below middle C right here. And you're going to play that with the first note, and then with the last note, you'll go down to a B. Here, so this first box here is together. And then you're together right at the end. Okay, so. And then moving on, moving on we have an A minor chord here. So E above middle C, with a middle C below that, and an A below that. And you're actually going to have a high A up here on the pinky. So you have four notes in this box here. And you just play the E first, then the A below that, then the C, and then the A octave. Two A's together. And then back down to the E. And then finally the C. So this second box is bum, bum, bum. All right, and on the left hand, we move down from a B to an A here. So here's the A. And then we're going to move back up to that B we did right here, right at the end. So the second box is... Alright, and that C and B don't sound good together. I know when you go slow, but when you go up to speed, it'll sound just fine. So let's do this, these two boxes, and see I have four times there. So you actually play it one time, and you play it again for the intro. And then you play it two more times for the singing, uh, when the verse starts. Okay, so uh, these two boxes together... once and I do it again and then two more times makes four. <clears throat> the fourth time leave this B out on the left hand. Okay so the fourth time leave that B out uh, then we're going to go here we have uh, an F above middle C with the middle C below that and an A below that. So three note chord again and then play the notes in the pattern F A C F C A. Bum, 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 bum. Left hand is going to go to an F below this C here. So move down to this F, play it together with the right hand. And so that's that box. And then here, <clears throat> we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're just going to do a G chord. So G above middle C, with a D below that, and a B below that. And then you play uh, left hand G with that, uh, right here. So play those together, and then the right hand just pushes it out. Okay, and then the next box here, uh, we go back to a C chord, so E above middle C, with middle C, with a G below that. Alright, and the left hand is going to go to a, a C here, so you play that pattern together. Uh, right here, at the end, uh, the left hand is going to do E, F, so you're going to go from this C down to this E, and then up to an F from there. And the right hand is just doing... Okay, but this, these two notes, these two and these two, are played together on the right and left hand. So let me play this box for you. Okay. All right, and we're moving on to uh, line two up here. We have a uh, G chord here in the right hand. So D above middle C with a B below that, with a G below that. And you just play the pattern. G. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so let's go through the beginning up to there, how the singing goes and everything. So we do. Then a 
do it the second time. Then the third time start singing. Heard there was a secret chord. And here's the fourth time. David played and pleased the Lord. Then we go here. But you don't really care for music, do you? So we just played that box. Now we're continuing with the second part of uh, this melody here. So we go to a C chord again, E above, middle C, with a middle C, with a G below that. And left hand's on a C. <clears throat> and you just play the pattern I wrote there. Goes like this, the, and then we play this here. And when he's singing, uh, it goes like this, the four, the five. Well, these, this is the four chord in the key of C, and this is the five chord in the key of C. The four, the five. Then he says, I think the, the minor foul or something. But this is a minor chord. And then he says the major lift, because we kind of lift the, the chord up there, we do an F major chord, major lift, so he's uh, actually saying some uh, music theory there, if you're wondering what that was about. <clears throat> anyway, so we play this C chord, and then on the four chord here, the four or the five, so F A C is the four chord in the key of C, so F below middle C with an A above that, with a middle C above that, left hand's on an F down here, we play those together. So that's that box. Bum, bum, bum. And then we move to this box here. We have a G chord, the five chord. So G, B, D in the right hand. Left hand moves up to a G. So these two boxes are four, the five. We do a minor chord here. So A above, A uh, below middle C with the middle C above that with an E above that. And then right here we'll do an A octave, an A on the pinky. At the same time we do the A on the thumb. And then we finish out with the E, C. But the whole thing is one chord there. And here I think he goes to octaves in the left hand. So an A down here on the thumb with an A on the pinky. So right here. <clears throat> Minor foul. The, do it again. Minor foul. The, and then major lift. So let's do the next box here. A below middle C with the middle C. Above that with an F above that. Another A octave there on the pinky and the thumb. Back to F and C. Left hand's just doing an F octave. So uh, that's that box there. All right, so let me start right here. Goes like this, the four, the five. And we're here. Minor foul, the major lift. And then let's finish up here with uh, the top row up here. We have a G chord in the right hand. So G below middle C with a B above that, with a D above that. And then we have a G octave. So G on the pinky, G on the thumb. Back down to a D and then a B. But the whole thing, as uh, the whole song is, it's just one chord with a, a pattern. Left hand's on a G octave here. I quit writing octaves on the left hand, but continue to do octaves. So G on the thumb and a low G on the pinky. Play that together and then continue with the right hand. Okay? Uh, this is where he sings the, uh, the battle key are composing and then we go here uh, we have a G below middle C and then a B above that actually this measure is just like this one uh, for the right hand except we change the E to the D to an E so we do G B E and then a G octave then back down to the E B alright and the left hand's on an E minor or an E octave so I move down here to this E with a thumb maybe you can't see this but a pinky my pinky's on an E as well all right, I play that together. All right, then I go here, middle C, with an A below that. Back to a C, and then an A octave, and then E, C, and then an A. At the very end, their left hand is just playing another A octave. So this box is... And then I just play that in it. Uh, i got a couple of seconds here. Let me sing this last part. <clears throat> And we'll do this this uh, top row here. Uh, the powerful king composing hallelujah. And of course the next part is hallelujah. And uh, you can get that uh, by emailing me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy it.